I'm Mickey Atkinson. I reside at 4028 Blue Bonnet Drive. I own a business at 3605 Groomtown Road. Maya Angelou wrote, we're more alike than different. I despise the polarizing of our country and of Greensboro. I'm a retired high school teacher who every day for the last eight, eight years of my teaching career had these words on my board, love, forgive, and be a blessing. It frustrates me that some of my students now continue to see a few adults try to polarize our citizens. We are tired of the racial and political polarizing and of the 1% being the loudest voice in race matters. Those who would hold press conferences to demand an investigation of an over-investigated police department, those who would coach others to declare that the city council is not doing its job, you are self-serving in your perpetual rants. You are feeding off of fear, paranoia, and bitterness that you create. It's your MO. The solution to our polarized race relations? Leaders, black and white, need to lead in speaking out, as Zach Matheny did recently. We must dialogue. People of all races need to drop this paranoia. Just because a few hold a press conference, or just because one voice on the school board is always harping about race, we cannot believe that all of a certain race feel that way. Likewise, just because some anonymous beeps in the rhino may say white supremacist things, quit believing that the vast majority of white people feel that way. Well over 99% of us want an end to this racial polarization. The enemy of the black community is not the city council. It's the absence of strong mentors in education. It's not the police department. It's the preaching of discord instead of the gospel in some churches. It's not the prison system. It's the self-imposed prison of the high school dropout. It's not inequality at society's hands. It's inequality from the crippling effects of fatherless homes. To those of you who would say we have a culture of corruption, no, we have a culture of self-serving discord by a few. Likewise, the enemy of the white community is not the extremist voice of self-serving black leaders. It's not affirmative action and it's not taxes. It's simply greed, greed of Wall Street and Main Street that's destroying our fabric of values. It's the paranoia fueled by false prophet white extremists. And it's that mentality that we are doing all the giving and they are doing all the taking. Let's quit listening to these divisive voices. Let's quit publicly vilifying a police department filled with modestly paid public servants who protect and serve us every day. Let's bury the race-related paranoia by recognizing that the outspoken 1% does not speak for the rest of a group, black or white. I do believe that 99% of us live in a city where we're not judged by our color, but by the content of our character. Let's all move forward. I call on Greensboro's leaders to create more open dialogue on unity. Love, forgive, and be a blessing.